Welcome to day 637 in my Hex and Pulse Chain journey. I hope you're doing all great. Thanks to my latest subscriber, Steven. Welcome to the hood, brother. And now please make sure to hit that like button. Let's get this video up to 500 likes. Hit that subscriber button and turn on post notification to get notified for every new video. And now let's get started with today's episode. In today's video, we're going to talk about first the Hex stats. Then we have a closer look at the Uniswap version 3 liquidity. What's going on on the liquidity pair from Hex USDC? And for the last part, we will have a quick look if maybe the testnet and the mainnet will be delayed for the pulse chain there are some rumors out there we will check that and what it's all about so now let's jump right into it first we're going to have a quick look at our hex wallet i have some staking action going on we can see this right here on the current day i already earned 16 hex in interest and here nine hex in interest the total staked value is around 500 to 600 dollars so this is pretty damn nice you can see this stake will end in 23 days and this stake is going a little bit longer 75 days i maybe have to do some more stakes i just want to show you guys that those stakes here will be copied over to the pulse chain network and everything will work as intended you will have two staking bags you have two liquid bags whatever you hold so everything will be good so let's hop quickly over to hexinfo.io you can see hex compared to the us dollar is up now 4091x compared to bitcoin we are up 636x and compared to ethereum we are up 175 x this is pretty damn amazing we have all green stats even if you just bought recently you should up be heavily because just i think the new all-time high is around four to three percent away so we will see this as well on nomics in a second but first let me check graphhex.rocks because i really like to see that the liquidity is draining up so let's do a quick math here on the video 42 plus 10 plus 10 i would say 62 plus a little bit here 62 66 million hex in liquidity total so this liquidity should drive up the price pretty damn fast as you can see hex is getting more and more scarce all kind of people and little whales big whales are buying up the hex and staking it for longer than the average duration this is also pretty damn impressive and you can see 9.78 percent of the total circulating supply is staked so we are trying to get to this 10 percent i'm good with that less people staked more apy for the stakers as soon as the staking amount goes up the apy will come down a little bit for for the moment you would get an apy of 37.32 percent this is damn amazing we have a total staked value and if you take the total locked value which combines the pools from the uniswap exchange plus the total staked value you end up at 14.2 billion us dollars for one hex you have currently to pay almost 23 cent so maybe in this video we're just gonna break 23 cent this would be really amazing one t-shirt is already at 4260 dollars so i think one t-shirt is already more expensive than in ethereum and this will just be a matter of time until we are more expensive for one t-share than the current bitcoin price because the current bitcoin price sits around forty-seven thousand dollars, so we are just at 10x away from this if we scroll further down we have the nice chart i really appreciate this chart we can see both the t-share and the hex price you can see the t-share price is climbing up heavily but steady and the hex price is just doing whatever he's doing we had a nice run up over here almost to 17 cents we had a little sideways action shaking out the traders shaking out the weekends and boom voila we were already on a new all-time high 23 almost 24 cents so maybe it's just a matter of time that we're gonna break this psychological mark of 25 cents we shall see so let me move on unfortunately today no penalty celebration somehow hex.division is down i'm gonna try it anyway again to just reload this page but it doesn't look so good fireban you're actually is needed we need the penalty stats we need the best stats in hex with hex.division so let me just move on to nomics to see some decent price action you can see bitcoin is trade at around forty seven thousand nine hundred fifty two dollars ethereum sits around three thousand one hundred eighty four dollars up 0.18 percent and look at that up half a percent already almost at 23 cent hex at position number three with a total market cap of 131 billion us dollars so if you scroll a little bit more down we can see on position four we have cardano we left behind binance coin we left behind tether xrp army is way behind us the dogecoin hype is already over tesla moved on and solana usdc coin polkadot everything is behind now it's just about the top three and it's just a matter of time that we're gonna flip ethereum maybe in midterm we should 
should be able to flip the position number two and then it's just all about attacking the number one spot bitcoin so let me move on quickly to the google trends if you compare hex crypto in the world we can see we are in an uptrend again we had some sideways action in the last couple of months but it's just breaking out i think this is also a reasonable sign for the twitter action from richard hart and as well on youtube this guy is just rocking all the platforms and now we can see also norway is leading the way then australia netherlands new zealand is coming and canada the good old canadians are also in the game it's really great to see the word is getting spread all over the world and we should maybe see some climbing up action in here as soon the upcoming pulse chain will be launched so let me just move on to some other news we just recently hit it 50k stakers on the staker app congratulations again for everybody who is staking with the staker app you are in a safe haven so let me move on with the hex price this is recently and more interesting we can see here the historical chart if we see some recent dip action going on as usual in the crypto space we have some dips we always have some corrections minus 79 percent minus 72 percent minus 58 67 86 69 that was a good one and just the recent one 63 percent but that was actually just a wick down to my random line in here after that we climbed up quite strong and if we have a look at the uniswap version 2 chart let me just quickly change here to uscc so we get rid of the wicks and if we load this chart you can see after this downtrend in here we corrected perfectly and just made a recent new all-time high already so this looks really strong maybe we're just gonna do some sideways action again until we're gonna break this 25 cent level which is really a historical level which would be great to see and a quick look on the weekly chart it's just going up and to the right the same goes for the historical chart it's really amazing to see how this chart is performing and it looks quite healthy you have recent dips in the chart you have some weak hands who are letting go their backs but some smart hands are buying up the dip and just after a little while you are already in the green let's come now to the second topic of today we have a closer look at the liquidity on the uniswap version 3 exchange you can see the big ass sell wall around five cent is gone i don't know where it's gone but maybe this liquidity provider just got rid of his position because we finally broke through this wall and you can see now the price sits around this level of this red line around 23 cents at the moment liquidity providers only earning fees in between this little range in here but we can see some heavy action some people are trying to catch a dip behind here i think this is the sell wall before we were just through of that so it looks kind of like people try to get a cheap nice hex around 20 cents if we go more to the right side we can see 19 18 cents and behind here we have also some dudes who are trying to catch a falling knife with 15 cent hex because they know we're going up and to the right again if we go to the left side again we can see around this level of 24 cents almost 25 cents we have 265 5,000 hex which are waiting to get sold for USDC. The same goes for here, 240,000 hex tokens. And on the level of almost 50 cent, we have here 313,000 hex tokens, which somebody's trying to get rid of. But you can see before, we just have almost no resistance. It goes down here. The resistance becomes smaller and smaller. But of course, once the price moves to the left, I think the liquidity providers will also move their positions from this side over here, just to be in the trading range to earn some fees if they want to the second thing for the sellers in here this is a little bit advanced i think some people are trying to get rid of their hex but that means they have to watch the price closely because once the price is in their trading range and once their position is filled they have to pull the liquidity and if they're not doing this their usdc will just get traded back into hex and the price could go down so you have to observe this closely if you try to sell hex in a liquidity pool let's come now to the last part of this video Maybe Maybe the pulse chain testnet and the mainnet will be delayed we're gonna have a quick look what's all about with this let's quickly have a look on gitlab.com you can see the go pulse repository was updated six days ago if you click on it you can see the updates as well some weeks ago we have some updates but six days ago some core applications were updated since then i think the dev team is struggling a little bit with a bug in the sync of the testnet we can see this also in the latest update from richard hart pulsechain.com development update we have a private chat room dedicated to the testnet syncing bug it gives people access to our archive node to sync from so they can reproduce the issue failed at block 12 million other devs from the community are hopping 
in to help. So it looks already good that everyone is working on the same issue. I also saw some posts about the locked action going on. So they are really taking measurements to get this issue or this bug fixed as quick as possible. After that, a sync with the testnet should be possible also for public because like everybody is really waiting and looking for the public testnet and we can't wait that Pulse Chain will launch because I see on Twitter a little bit some impatient people we sacrificed some time ago and we don't see anything yet but as always do not have any expectation from the work of others you sacrifice to make a political statement for the freedom of speech and now you just have to wait be patient this will turn out good it's software it's coding it's development it always takes longer because there are bugs and issues coming up which you never were aware before and this just is the normal world so we should get used to this also in the future updates it will take time to develop something really stable and with that we are already by the end of this video for today if you like this kind of content check out this custom playlist i made for you i think over here it has my most popular hex and pulse chain videos that have apparently changed people's life so check it out stay long and fat stay safe out there and see you in the next one peace